What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we are back to talk about the Asgardians. Are the Asgardians back on the Alliance Wars defense meta? Maybe. As you guys can see there is one character missing here and this character might make possible for the Asgardians with this specific setup to win somewhat easily against the symbiotes you still need a little bit of luck but it's uh, very very possible so we are going to take a look uh, at the team and at a matchup that i had recently and uh, how bad it was because of this character right here and uh, how efficient it's going to be and uh, we have to mention also a few t4s that might be relevant for this team and a few options in terms of isoa to make sure that uh, we can win against this match so if you guys like uh, the information on this video make sure to share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more marvel strike force content make sure you smash that like button because that always helps the channel but if you want to go a little bit further you can also help the channel by becoming a member and uh, by becoming a member you can join my discord and uh, on top of that you can also enter on the giveaway that we have on discord every month and uh, depending on the tier you have on the discord you'll be able you'll be more likely to win the giveaway or not and uh, what else uh, oh and make sure you check out the iso 8 list uh, and the t4 list uh, on the description on the video okay so with all that said uh, let's talk about the asgardians and which character could uh, possibly make this team to win against the symbiotes on last war defense a character that uh, doesn't have too much use on his own team or too much use on whichever team because he's usually considered as trash but because of one specific effect that he has he becomes very relevant and uh, the character i'm talking about is this one right here it's our boy drax <laughs> guys like uh, you, you'll see the video and you'll understand. So we have Drax, we have Sif, we have Hela and we have Loki. Heimdall is in the middle, Heimdall is not too relevant, but what matters is the positioning of this team. You need to have Hela as far away as possible from Drax and the same goes for Loki. And uh, because Drax spawns with counters or he can get counters or whatever, that will make uh, some problems for carnage to chain also for uh, scream and so on so it's not like you'll be able to single out uh, the gregs right away and depending on how strong your drax is that might become a huge problem the video that we are going to take a look the drax was not that big and it still caused me a huge problems on top of that whenever sif towns she also applies counters to herself and those counters will also block uh, the chance of scream and of carnage to spread negative effects around and because of that because it takes so long to get rid of these guys we will not be able to apply the heal block to hella will not be able to apply the disrupt to hella and uh, that's going to be a huge problem because then uh, she will be on stealth and uh, she'll be able to heal herself whenever we kill a greg now things that we have to take into consideration in terms of isolate you want to have uh, sif with uh, you can have fortifier but on this specific case i think you should have the maximum damage output and for that you want to have skirmisher on loki and on sif so whenever she counters she is applying those vulnerabilities and then you want to have striker on hella so she does the maximum damage output as possible there are two T4s that you should consider, the Special and the Ultimate from Loki, especially the Ultimate that gives two turn uh, bl uh, stealth. That's going to be very relevant because it's going to make a lot harder for these characters to get out of stealth. And uh, then uh, that's going to be a struggle that the Symbiote will have, as you'll see in the video. And uh, the other one is to make sure that uh, we will be able to get rid of one target. If we are lucky enough and we can get rid of uh, anti-venom or a scream or something like that if you can get rid of one of those characters early on it's going to be a huge advantage because that's uh, going to allow us to give even more time 
for us to do those shenanigans. So those are the most important T4s that you should consider. The the ultimate from uh, Loki. That one you, it's a must have, and then uh, the special. It says it has 75% chance, but honestly, it's more like 25% chance because it never happens. And uh, you don't need a massive Drax, but the higher he is, the better he gets. So yeah, with all that said, with the explanation of the T4, the ISO weight and the positioning, once again, the positioning is extremely important. Some people have Drax on this team, but with the wrong position and it doesn't have the same effect. It has to be like this. So let's take a look at the video and see how much I struggle against this matchup. Okay, so here we are and uh, as you guys can see, this is almost 100k punch down and uh, it's gonna be a huge problem. Now you can mitigate this problem a little bit if you have tons of uh, characters with uh, skirmisher, but it's not very common to have that many skirmishers. So it's up to you and uh, because of all those deflates, it's gonna be a huge problem and especially if it's early in the war and they still have a ton of deflects that's going to be very problematic so as you guys can see i'm stuck behind these drags and he has that uh, death proof as well and so on so that became even more problematic so i'm trying to get rid of him now i need to get rid of uh, that uh, greg so i can get the speed up and so on the problem is that he has those deflects so yeah not great and as you guys can see my anti-venom is quite low already so if uh, the enemy team would be a little bit more lucky or if the Hela was a little bit stronger or uh, they had the T4 on the special of Loki anti-venom could be dead already and uh, if that would be the case I would be probably pretty much done and uh, my scream is getting demolished as you guys can see and uh, I'm trying to focus on the minions so I can get all that turn meter but the problem is that because Hela doesn't have ill lock and because she has no disrupt and so on you can get into a loop where uh, you are not able to attack her and uh, you need you need uh, the Grex to spawn around her and uh, you want to make sure that Scream attacks those Gregs so you can uh, try to remove the stealth of uh, Hela but as you guys can see like if Hela had a defense up, I would be in a huge problem. Then you need to be very, very lucky for a Scream to go in the right direction. So she removes the buffs from Hela. And uh, as you can see, two minutes left and I'm stuck and now more Greg spawn. Now I have to wait for a full rotation because Scream already had her turn. So I now I need Simeon Spider-Man and Venom to have their turns. Then I need Anti-Venom and Carnage to have their turns and then only after Scream will have uh, her turn once again and I have the chance of uh, trying out and see if uh, I'm able to remove the stealth or not. If I'm not able to remove the stealth I have no way to win against uh, this matchup because I'm completely stuck. Okay so as you guys can see I'm getting all that speed up, turn meter and so on we are still trying to make sure that we have enough Gregs around the Hela to make sure Scream can remove the the stealth but as you can see one minute left and uh, we are still not able we still have to get rid of all the turns from Venom and then we have Carnage and uh, then we have Anti-Venom and only after we'll have Scream so as you guys can see this is, this is a huge problem and it all becomes because it all becomes a uh, this problem becomes because of uh, Drax, like you get stuck behind it. Okay, so Scream goes before Anti-Venom. That's a little bit better, but it's not amazing. I'm still getting, trying to get lucky and uh, remove that uh, stealth. But as you saw, I don't know if she resisted or if she had other buff. So finally, 40 seconds left and I'm finally able to remove the, the stealth. Now I have to hard focus on her. And for that, uh, I want to get uh, as many negative effects as possible. But this is a problem with this team as well. Sometimes it doesn't have the damage output that you need in order to do single target damage to get rid of her. So we have 10 seconds left. We finally got rid of uh, Hela and uh, Symbiote Spider-Man came in with the ultimate and destroyed that. As you guys can see, this is just because of Rex. This is insane. 
and uh, yeah, it might be the key to make uh, as Guardians win against Symbios on Alliance Wars defense. Okay guys, so that was quite impressive and that team was pretty good but it was not uh, super optimized. So once again, what you want to do is to have the skirmish on Loki and uh, on uh, Sif. You can have Striker on Heimdall so he has a little bit more damage output and you also want to have Striker on Hela. On Dranks you can have uh, probably Fortify will be fine if you give Skirmish or, or Healer it will be fine as well because he has his second turn quite fast and that will allow him to heal up a little bit more but it's very very important to have the characters in this specific positioning so you have uh, Drax as far away as possible from Hela and Loki so they are not uh, the symbiotes are not able to apply any negative effects to them and uh, then they get stuck once again the T4s that you want to consider is the the ultimate from Loki that one is for sure but you can also consider the special from Loki as well so you might have the chance of one shotting right away anti-venom early on in the match and with that it will make uh, way easier for you to beat this team so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoy it a possible counter or a possible way to make the the asgardians better especially if you have like big alas and so on if you have a, a very big asgardian this might be a very very good matchup and it might be even interesting to invest a little bit more on Rex to make sure that he's able to withstand a few hits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button like a boss. And uh, if you found information on this video helpful, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content. Make sure you smash that like button and if you want to help the channel make sure you join as a member so you can join my discord and the giveaways and so on and yeah guys that's gonna be the video and i'll see you guys later